shaking his head. But he is going to be shown in the video, don't you worry. This is on the west coast of Scotland. It's right in front of a loch, uh, a sea loch. And we've been watching Escape to the Chateau. Now, Escape to Chateau DIY. And we got Chateau Envy. But then we realised we are being silly. Anything they can do, we can do, but maybe not better. Okay. If you're half out Angelus Drobich, we also have black tiles with gold ground. It's amazing what one can do with a felt tipped pen, isn't it? The house was built in the 19th century by the local pier master who bankrupted himself, putting lots of cornices and things he didn't need in the house. Since then it's passed through lots of owners until it ended up in our family 20 years ago. And we spend all our time trying to keep it from falling down. Like I said, we try to stop it from falling down, but not always successfully. This was last Christmas. Fortunately, we were all in our beds at the time. And the only thing that really got destroyed was one chair. Even Santa Claus survived. It was quite nice. And as I said, lots of cornicing. The pier master loved his cornicing. When we moved here, we brought all the stuff from my mother's house, who had inherited everything from her grandmother and her mother. So we've got over 150 years worth of stuff in our house none of which is actually very valuable or else we could have sold it and gone and lived in somewhere really warm instead of the west coast of Scotland where it rains a lot. Stuff. This is an example of stuff. Which when I was at um, Lenin, well, I was 17 or 18, we had a grocer's shop and people used to come into the shop and they bought uh, Wiltshire bacon and always asked for it to be spiced and we used this as our spice mix. Now this was made by my great aunt who had a secret recipe but unfortunately we it's have secret. forgotten what the recipe We have no idea what the recipe is and we've had this since so oh, the 1960s but it has actually now <coughs> no smell. Although it does have a kind of cinnamon smell. So we're going to try and replicate this as a spice. Try spicing some bacon and do it this way. Right. We have pharmaceutical formulas. Which belong to my great grandfather. Which we hoped would have the spice mix. And we've got brown gravy salt. We've got... Kaiser Gilwitz German sauce. We've got sausage flavouring and we wondered if some of the sausage flavouring might be it. I think that's the only one we can use. That one's the only one we can use? There's nothing else there that I can see would be anything. And anyway. we don't want to try Easter bun spices? No, no, no. it's not. Okay. But it's for bacon, so it's... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right, okay. Sausage flavouring one. Two ounces of white pepper. I can do that. Jamaica pepper, also known as allspice. Two, dr six drams. I don't do pharmaceutical measurements, Douglas. No, we need measuring things and a bowl. Yeah, well, let's work out what we need. It's not dram, it's a drachm. Signs DR or a thing that looks like a honey three equals 60 grains. I right? think we're just going to have to... Guess it. Guess okay. it. Black pepper. Three drachms. Ginger. Three drachms. Capsicum. No. Chili powder? No. Too, too modern. Well, what would capsicum be? No idea. I think it's based on Jamaica pepper. 
mace, one drachm, and cloves, 10 grains. I've got a, a what this is. Okay. I would say this has to be a fairly simple mix. I can't imagine I, I'm doing anything particularly difficult. So I would think this is basically all spice. So I would say a teaspoon of all, of all, all spice. That's yeah. half a tablespoonful? Yeah, all okay. Spice. Yeah, that is all spice. No, that's see see the colours. Colours not bad. Colours yes, not bad. Uh, so, but I think a touch of black pepper, but just a little black pepper, not too much. An eighth of a teaspoon. Well, yes. We don't, we don't want the defect to colour too much. Right. No. I would say some cinnamon. That's close. Wait, yeah, it's actually close. close. It's actually close. close. It's actually close. close. I want to put a tiny ticket. Uh, no, no. Uh, how strong are they? They're very strong. Mm, two. Two of these? Yeah. But so what we should do is we take a note of what we're doing so as we can. Right. Um, I'm not taking it. Do you want nutmeg? It's cinnamon. It's cinnamon. You <sighs> should have got the cinnamon out before we started. Mm. There's not really. Again. I know they said whole grain peppercorns, but it's not whole grain peppercorns. Is that cinnamon? Yes, the only one. The only one. It's quite sweet. See the colour change. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. Can I take a peppercorn? No, that smells not too bad. Um, what does nutmeg smell like? Uh, just a pinch of nutmeg. Pinch. Pinch, pinch, pinch. Right. I think. Yeah, I think that's, that's not too bad. That's quite a nice smelling mixture. Basically, Let this sit for a bit. No, well, I presume the people just bought it. It was wrapped up in crisp toothed paper, went home, and presumably cooked it for the breakfast the next morning. Okay, well, yeah. that means it sat overnight. So. That's half. 
it's unsmoked. Back bacon. So there we are. So that was how it was sold in the shop. What it tastes like, I have no idea. Because uh, I don't think you could buy spice bacon nowadays. No, it won't. So, that's ready, now we'll have that for breakfast tomorrow and then we'll <laughs> come back and tell you what it is done. Yes! Okay! <laughs> okay, so... Taste your spice bacon and tell me what you think of it. Right, or should we have less or more of anything? I think it needs a bit more peppery. Well, I tell you what the original one was. Yeah. <laughs> but it's actually quite nice. Mm. 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 Yeah. Not strong enough. Not strong enough. Okay, make it stronger next time. 